And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some more Dying Light 2 today. We're going to go ahead and play some more campaign. Right now, we're going to go into our Metro Station that we just discovered. We're going to clear that out and power it up. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the support button. Let's get into playing some Dying Light 2.
Butchers men have developed a taste for human when it washes out.
effort to do it personally. Mm. <laughs> he is a snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Oh, have I embarrassed you? I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Modeled the year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. say you broke down my defenses so you're still after those lamps did Matt tell you why he wanted them and why he really wanted them yeah to take control of the TV tower wait he's serious is he crazy nobody tried that for over a decade Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the butchers coming attack so we should start building him a monument right only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center, while the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever, and half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. So why did the Butcher attack the canteen? That's in the city center. Good question. Maybe it wasn't the Colonel who gave the order. Something more is going on. It's something we don't yet understand. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. Let's help each other. Smart man, Aiden. Barely in town a minute and you've picked the right side already. I'll give you the lamps. That'll keep Matt from getting suspicious. But then, go to the cathedral. 
There's a guy hiding out there. Total nut job, but a tech savant. Get him to fix this old piece of spy tech. If we get it working, we can bug the transmitter Jack wants to place on top of the VNC spire. Have him do his thing. By tapping Matt's comms, we'll find out what he's doing with the extra lamps. And knowing's half the battle, kiddo. Something else on your mind? But our chances against the Renegades are pretty good. But now, I'm not so sure. Anyways, this looks like a good place to stop. I'm gonna go save, I think. That's where I'm going. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the support button. I'll see you guys again in the next video.